Hello there, good afternoon. I am Baba Tando. I have the latest in the world of sports. Let's get talking right here, right now. Ghana's Black Queens got their title defense underway in good fashion as they beat the Teranga Lionesses of Senegal 2 0 in their opening game of this year's Wafu tournament in La Cote d'Ivoire. Both goals came in the second half of the game, first from Alice Kusi and then Black Maiden sensation Mukarama Abdullahi added the second in the dying embers of the game. Head coach of the Ghana side, Messi Tego Kwaku, believes her players played to her instructions. During the first half, they were doing exactly what I asked them to do. I told them we should just calm down. Let's try to develop our attack right from the defense, from the goalkeeper, from the defensive third, middle third. Then, if it is possible for us to provide it, or unless, of course, these opponents are also very knowledgeable in terms of wing play. Other than that, when we start developing the attack, if we are able to bring the laterals in, then we use the penetrating pass and use the lateral, uh, sorry, the flanks to at least create our chances. So in the first half, whatever I asked them to do, they were doing it perfectly. Just that they were too anxious to score. Okay. Um, uh, coach, I was asking a question. Your opponent, you watched Cote d'Ivoire play against Togo. Would you say Togo, they are just uh, the weakest side in our people? Um, football is full of uncertainty. I won't say that they are the weakest side, even though they, they were beaten by five goals to zero by the host nation. But then, Ghana is the defending champions. And any country that beats Ghana always try to prove to us that we are beatable. So until we meet them, I won't take anything away from them. Now, Ghana lost their opening game to host La Cote d'Ivoire in the last edition. This time around, Messi Tego Kwaku wants, uh, she was determined uh, to right the wrongs of the past. She believes Ghana stands tall amongst the opponents she's seen so far in the tournament. Last year, we lost our opening game to the host nation. And when I granted an interview, I said it wasn't a big deal because we were playing against the entire nation of Cote d'Ivoire. This year it was uh, in two away countries, that's Ghana and Senegal. And looking at uh, the first game that we observed, we realized that uh, some of these teams that have come for this waffle are not too strong enough for us to say that uh, these teams can easily beat Ghana. I was trying to compare our team to, uh, the strength of my team to that of um, Cote d'Ivoire and Togo. So I was also wondering what exactly was waiting for us in terms of our game with uh, Senegal. Unfortunately, Senegal came in strongly, very energetic and strong girls. But uh, the, the, the cup holders really proved to them that tactically and mentally everything was better than them. Away from the Waffle Tournament and the Black Queens, but will remain in football because the May 9 Foundation has marked 18 years of the stadium disaster with Ramadan prayers and donations at the Kumasi Central Mosque. Herbert Mensah, former chairman of Asante Kotoko and founder of the May 9, remembered annual charity events, um, joined Muslims and chiefs to pray for the souls of the over 126 football fans who died during the stadium stampede on May 9, 2001. You Youth and Sports Minister Isaac Isiama, who was present at the commemoration, advised football fans to be mature in their fanatism. Football should not test and not to disintegrate Ghana. And if May 9 incident painfully indeed disintegrated 127 Ghanaians from their loved ones, let the lessons learned from it be not as as one people with a common identity and a common destiny. And as we commemorate the 18th anniversary of the May 9 Accra Sports Stadium disaster, let us all remember that 18 years is the age of maturity. When we were 18, we were matured. At this age, we are adult. So here, we are to be held responsible for our actions and inactions. So at 18 years of the disaster, please, let us all know that if we were not matured in the past, Today, we are matured enough. We are 18 years. So after 18 years, please, 
All the things we used to do in the past when we were kids, we were children, should be a thing of the past. So the 18 years of maturity should be demonstrated across board. We should exhibit that after 18 years, we qualify to vote and to become leaders. So we should be responsible in our actions and in actions. That's more on myjoyonline.com forward slash sports. I tweet at the handle at Baba Tando saying for Instagram, done. I am done. Thanks. Baba, tragic incident though, 18 years ago with the May 9th tragedy. It's now time for world news. Stay with us. <laughs>